dear learners uh, now we will uh, discuss about uh, one of the most crucial issues with reptiles and uh, reptiles and particularly we will deal with venomous snakes and we will also see the venomous snakes of diversity of northeast india and what we need to do the first aid treatment in case of snake bite so uh, as you know in uh, india we have uh, two very big group of uh, venomous snakes and these two big group of venomous snakes falls into two families and these two families are known as elapids the family of uh, cobras coral snakes um, uh, and the crates and also there is another group of venomous snakes which are called viperidae so it belongs to family viperidae and this is the family of vipers and pit vipers so here in northeast india also we have these two uh, group of venomous snakes two families of venomous snakes the elapids and vipers so the most famous elapid of india is the uh, cobra so we have two species of cobra like uh, the binocillate cobra and monocillate cobra how we can identify is that in binocillate cobra the back the back side of their hood is having a double uh, double o marking pattern and in monocillate cobra there is only uh, one monocle i marking pattern so this is the difference and uh, this both these species are the most famous uh, elapid and then we have the largest venomous snake in the world this is called king cobra and the king cobra is the longest venomous snakes and grow up to 18 feet so this uh, king cobra also uh, occurs in our northeast india and also southern india and in other orissa also west bengal but this species uh, is is uh, found to be a very big species complex so king cobra is also an elapid and then among the viperid we have the most common uh, viper uh, in northeast india the pit vipers so the pit vipers are generally very green in color and their uh, body is very short and one of the main characteristic is that pit viper has a quite triangular head shape and their top of the head scales are very small so these are the characteristics of pit viper and if you see the eye is a slit uh, is a vertical so it's a, say, a nocturnal snake comes out in the night time and then another elapid is the most common snake called banded crate so it's a very distinct snake we cannot uh, misidentify it it's having the whole body is yellow and black pattern so this is the banded crate and sometimes um, people misidentify it is having a people say that it's having a double head another head so it's which is false because their tail is very blunt which is misidentified as a uh, head so this is the banded crate it's another nocturnal snake so crate and then this is the black crate so the, all the crates are nocturnal snake they comes out only in the night time and they are shiny black in color and their eyes are very small black small so this uh, characterize the crate so these are the venomous snake which is uh, commonly found in in northeast india so as uh, we saw that there is a pit viper which is uh, most common in the hill areas of northeast india so why they are called pit vipers so pit vipers are the one of the most highly evolved group of reptiles so they have a Uh, pit organ here there is a uh, pit here so with that pit they can sense the warm blooded prey so the, uh, with this helps in getting their food more efficiently so this is one of the ground dwelling pit viper and this is the green pit viper which is very common and there are 7 to 8 species of green pit viper in northeast india and you can see the pit here so with that pit they sense the warm blooded prey around them so that's why they are pit so what are the venomous species here and how to identify them this is one of the most crucial question so as you know uh, in india uh, there are uh, uh, sea snakes also which comes under venomous group but we in northeast india we don't have any sea snakes and uh, in northeast india there are so far 102 species of snakes are so far recorded and out of that 102 species only 17 species are dangerously venomous so and again out of the 17 species there are only 3 4 species which live in and around human habitation and those 3 and 4 species can actually are are real threat for humans if they are confronted sometime 
so if we can recognize those those only three and four species will re we can really minimize the threat of snake bite and uh, snake bite uh, death so there are some very simple keys by which we can utilize and we can be uh, pr uh, we can take precautionary measures by using this so there are some snakes like those snakes which can raise a hood hood means like they can spread up the head portion of the body and can stand up so this is called hood and those snakes which can raise a hood and there is a mark on the back back side of the hood is a they are venomous snakes and you can see this is the marking pattern on the back side of their hood so these are the cobras so we need to be careful from cobras which live in our human habitation so then another group of snake like if we find a snake in the night time and the snake is very shiny black in coloration then we should be careful about that snake because that snake can be a crate but if we find a snake in the daytime and which is black and which which is uh, uh, moving around in the daytime then we should not be it may not be a crate because it may be uh, a black colored rat snake so and then we if we find a snake in the night time which has a big yellow and black bands on the body like this then we can be uh, we can take precaution because this that can be a crate so banded crate so banded crate although it is a venomous snake but it is very very rarely bites but then another uh, snake is that if we find a snake with body is very short and very stout and there is a triangular head shape shape of the head is triangular and its uh, coloration in green in color and it's moving around in the night time then we should be careful about that snake because that snake can be a pit viper so these are very simple things we can identify and then in northeast india we have so many non venomous snakes so this non venomous snakes have uh, so many characteristics one simple thing is that there is in northeast india there is none no other no snake which is having a long stripes on the body like this striped long stripe on the body so this all long stripe body snake are non venomous in northeast india so far so then we have a large this is a black snake and this is also a black snake which uh, we mistake it as a cobra so these are two very beneficial snake these are rat snakes but we mistake it for cobra because cobra is also black and we mistake it for crate also but we if we just look it carefully we see that their eyes are really very big and unlike cobra they cannot stand up and raise the hood so we can say that these are the rat snakes and all the striped snake as i said they are non venomous here and very long and slender snake very thin and long snake which stay on the leaf and uh, on the trees they are non venomous and then another group of snake we think that this blind snakes all the blind snake which come out from the soil or in our houses all the blind blind snakes are non venomous so um just coming to the snake bite and how it happens and what to do this is one of the most serious uh, issue in india and uh, why you know just we need to remember one thing because snake bite snake snake bite always is an accident and it never happens snake never comes and bite us it only happens when there is something carelessness happened so india is one of those uh, country in the world where most of the snake bite death cases are recorded something around 25000 people die every year which is a huge uh, loss so 90% of the snake bite victims are male and 40% snake bite occurs in the feet only that is in, uh, on the leg and crate is regarded as the most dangerous species but uh, what happened is this uh, huge statistics is only from few states like um, bihar and uh, some central indian state orissa west bengal where a lot of people work in the paddy field area and uh, so this is uh, our in northeast india there is no uh, perfect record of the number of death per year which may be also quite high but there is no uh, such statistics from northeast india so this is a indian statistics but one thing is true that most of, in case of snake bite most of the many of the people uh, die not because of snake bite but because of the fright because they after the snake bite the patient becomes so much tense that uh, there are a lot of cases of heart attack and the patient dying of heart attack rather than snake bite so that is one of the uh, also a significant 
um, uh, point where a um, lot of people die out of fear. So, you know, snake venom is the evolutionary gift. So, evolution has gifted them this remarkable thing. And it's a adaptation to getting sophistication in their life. So, as we see this snakes, uh, this evolutionary trend, this is the most primitive snake, the group of pythons. So, in case of pythons, they have a backwardly directed teeth all around the mouth so because they don't have venom so they have to grab the prey and it, it they have to keep it because otherwise they don't have venom if they release it they will go and escape so in that way that's why they have a backwardly directed teeth and in a little bit more advanced snake there are long, many teeth on the uh, mouth both floor so that they can grab the prey but as they grow more um, towards sophistication they didn't require any further teeth so teeth number has gone reduced but there is one teeth came in the front so that is a big one and it's known as fang so that is the venom fang and which in photography looks like this and it's more like a hypodermic needle so hypodermic needle means the uh, inside of this um, fang is hollow so this is in case of cobra they have a very short fang but in case of viper they have a very long fang so these are the two different uh, things and just to remind is that uh, as uh, I told you that um, cobra, crate and uh, coral snake they belong to the group Elapidae and then there is another group called Viperidae. So this cobra they have a predominantly neurotoxic venom means their uh, cobra and crate uh, venom primarily acts on the, our nervous system but in case of vipers or pit vipers their uh, venom primarily affects on our blood vascular system means it destroys the blood coagulation properties so we can very there are very uh, common sense by which we can avoid this uh, snake bite so we should not you know uh, step out in the dark and particularly in the month when snakes are most active during the monsoon season we should use torch and we can use it because torch are now so cheap careful when moving along bushes and rocky areas where snakes like to stay do not turn rocks and logs with your hand keep house rat and toad free we get a lot of snake rescue calls and we go to the uh, house and we find that the house is full of rat and full of toad so if the house is full of rat and toad it's like a restaurant for the snakes so snake will definitely come there as we go in any restaurant so fit window with wire mesh if there is a lot of snakes around do not sleep on the ground in Orissa, uh, Bihar and West Bengal there are a lot of people who die because they sleep on the ground and in the night time because crate comes in the night time and night uh, they enter in the house and they buy they can bite uh, the um, person sleeping and there are a lot of snake bites happen because people try to catch them because people think that catching snake is a act of bravery so they catch them and they don't know where which one is venomous which one is not and in that process they get bitten so this is one of the main cause of snake bite so snake bite happens and uh, it's also one of the human health hazard so in case of snake bite we can also adopt some very uh, small precautionary measure or the first aid treatment if there is any snake bite do not panic which is the most important and do not run so report it immediately whoever is there nearby you you tell him that i have been bitten by a snake then if you are you snake has been bitten somebody do just don't let him walk and just carry him and do not allow to walk and run because if you walk if you let the patient walk and uh, then the blood circulation will increase and the venom will extend very fast so do not you waste time in traditional treatment what happened is till now in our society if there is any snake bite we directly go to the ojas or tantrics so what happened is since there are most of the snake bites are from non-venomous snake so oja and tantric can recognize that this is a non-venomous bite and they treat it and the patient becomes all right but in case if it is really bitten by a venomous snake then tantric and oja cannot do anything because then doctor must have to be admitted so that's why do not waste time just go to hospital and keep body warm but don't give alcohol in in hill areas i have seen when snake uh, snake bite occurred people drink alcohol 
So if you drink alcohol, then what happens is your circulation and then all this the impulse and everything will increase and in that process venom will spread rapidly. And do not squeeze, suck the injury. In a uh, lot of Hindi films we saw uh, that uh, when there is a snake bite, we cut it and squeeze it or somebody squeeze, uh, sucking the wound and taking out the blood, which is not possible. In case of venomous snake, you cannot suck the blood and take it out. So do not do it. And if you cut it, then there may be other symptom which is very dangerous. In case of viper bite, if you cut it, then there will be continuous bleeding. So you should not do this type of thing. Avoid tourniquet. What happened is, in most of the snake bite, people used to tie very tightly. There is tourniquet when uh, they used to, and their idea is to stop the blood so that the venom cannot go, which is, which is wrong. Actually, if you do this and uh, if they, you don't know whether it is a venomous snake or not, and if you tie it very tightly and hospital is far or the patient has been kept by tying the tourniquet for a long time, then blood circulation completely stops and in that process the blood vessels on the other side may rupture. So, in the, so that's why tourniquet should be avoided um, uh, or give lot of assurance. Just tell the patient that nothing happened, we will go, we will mental suffering, me mental strength is the most important thing in case of snake bite. So uh, coming to this tourniquet thing, as I told you, if you just tie the tourniquet very tightly for a long time, then there may be rotting because rupture of blood vessel will start the process of rotting of the limbs and hands wherever. So the patient will uh, have to uh, lose, lose its limb in this way. So how snake bite as just, uh, you know, snake bite, how this teeth function in the venom fang function is that. Um, the, the venom fang is hollow and it's attached to the venom gland. So whenever they bite, whenever they bite, the venom from the venom gland comes and it enter is because it is hollow, it enters to our body. So uh, coming to the type of venom, as I told, there are two main groups of uh, venom. That is neurotoxic, where the effect will be on the nervous system. As you say, the patient cannot open its eye, cannot talk there will be slurness of the speech, so all the nervous symptom will happen, then we can identify that he has been bitten by a neurotoxic, um, uh, having neurotoxic venom snake. And then there is a hemotoxic symptom also, where there will be a lot of swelling, there will be two big fang marks also, or maybe one, and uh, the blood uh, coagulation will be uh, disrupted. So. Uh, rather, we should avoid tourniquet, but there is a pressure immobilization method which is recommended by World Health Organization. So, where there is a snake bite, like here the uh, snake fang mark is here, snake bitten this part. So, try uh, take a uh, big width bandage and try uh, start by um, bandage from very beginning to as much as you want. Your idea is not to stop the blood circulation, but to slow the circulation, to retard the circulation. So in that way, you are, and also, if you tie the bandage for a long distance, then you are actually immobilizing the limb, so that the patient cannot mobilize its arm freely or the leg, because you are also tying it on the knee or on the sh um, arm, uh, whole arm, so and keep the arm in this way. So this is the process by which you can you are not stopping the blood circulation, but you are retarding the blood circulation. And there are, uh, in government of India is giving free supply to the polyvalent and a serum, which is, uh, which is available from uh, government agency. And these are the agencies, Bengal Chemicals, Hapkin, Central Research Institute, Serum Institute of India, and government supply to all the medical colleges where there is available. But this polyvalent serum also acts you know, negatively to different uh, patient. So the polyvalent serum, serum before administration, it should be uh, tested with the, uh, by the doctors. Antivenom and polyvalent, there are a uh, little bit different because yeah, uh, the polyvalent which is available in North India is made up of the venom of four, big four of India. There is Crate, Cobra, and then Russell's Viper, and then uh, that is uh, common crate soft scale viper. So these are the four species which uh, the uh, polyvalent serum is made. 
so it's mainly uh, produced from the horse uh, blood because slowly administer the venom is slowly administered to the horse and then horse blood serum was taken and then it is available in freezed dried and skin test generally is performed before administration so this is the anti snake venom lyophilized is made up of cobra great russell's viper and saw scale viper so these four snakes venom is combined in one uh, package and it's uh, freely supplied with this uh, we came to an end to our uh, topic on snake bite and risk management